right, so Matt, welcome back to the shop and another type of um, camshaft uh, camshaft drive, I will get to it. Camshaft drive is uh, something that really hasn't really been used that much and for good reason, which is the bevel drive. So you have your camshafts here, you have a bevel gear on here, you have another bevel gear and then you have a shaft and then you have to stick another bevel gear here and then all the rest of it and uh, this is uh, not really a bike thing, I think one or two bikes back in the day, I don't know the names of them, I've seen one that has this. Um, it's obviously quite expensive, it's quite noisy, again though it generally never goes out of time unless something catastrophic happens, it's just quite heavy, expensive and noisy. Um, but again it does work, there is a way, you know, it is work, you can put another gear on here, and then have your other camshaft driven on, just say your exhaust, if this is your inlet and this is your exhaust. Um, this is how the cams were driven in the Merlin engine, one of my favourite engines of all time. They basically just have two shafts that go up with bevel gears on them and then they are single overhead camshafts. And uh, basically that's just how it works. Um, you obviously need quite a lot of space to... Uh, no dear. You don't always need quite a lot of space. In a sense, this is very similar to a push rod, um, which isn't included in this because when we're talking about camshaft drives, not valve actuation. Um, but you could, you know, quite easily put some push rods in here, but you'd obviously I'd need multiples for that. But as you can see, that's another way you can drive camshafts. I hope that makes sense, and I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> 